Our next speaker joins us from Sweden, Lena Rechtel. Lena was already a future thinking entrepreneur when she founded the immigration and relocation specialist firm, Nimersion, in Sweden, back in May 1995. The movement of corporates in and out of Sweden has increased exponentially during this time, and it has been an extremely rewarding experience to help companies welcome their talent, stay compliant, and guide them to having a wonderful time while living and working in Sweden. Born out of necessity, as an entrepreneur with a newborn at home 13 years ago, Lena started experimenting with different ways of working. While work from home has become the new normal due to COVID-19, it is really old hat for an immersion. Designed out of passion and interest for efficiency, the testing of different techniques for focus, as well as the creation of rituals and habits that work well both in the office and at home, this is the core of the new remote work service that Lena and her team are launching in 2020. Experience in running remote teams across different time zones, cultural differences, and a variety of countries have required an immersion to possess legal compliance, tech tools that work, policies, structures that address mental and physical health, self-leadership, motivation, flex schedules, and, most of all, how to effectively support HR. Thank you for joining us, Lena. Our hat is off to you. Hello. I'm Lena Rektal. I'm the founder of a global mobility firm, Immersion, in Sweden. And I will present today about the future of work. Remote work, work from home. This great experiment that we're all participating in at the moment. So, we first crashed into this. Everybody went home on no notice in March. And we were all thinking about health. And that was the overriding concern for everyone. Since we were in a rush, it was the Wild West, and we had no rules. We were only concerned about getting people out of the virus way. Quickly, a majority of parents around the world had the dubious pleasure of being homeschoolers, essential employees. Um, what we also did was frequent trips to the pantry and into the kitchen, snacking all day. And now in Italy, every person has increased their weight by two kilos or four pounds. It should come as no surprise. Then, Spring came, one of the first things that were open were the plant schools, and people with gardens were very fortunate. Around the same time, people also started getting tired of isolation, sitting inside, no human connection, and people started going bananas. But as things mellowed out, as always, the lawyers come in and the lawyers talk about compliance, responsibilities, liabilities, policies, and so on. And eventually, we will enter the age of royal calm when we are, when we have figured everything out. And we're not far off from doing that. So, this session is supposed to be about the silver linings and the opportunities that we have ahead. And this is the first time in my life when I have something in common with every single person on this globe, and it's called COVID-19. I've also gotten behind the scenes of my co-workers. I know their pajamases and their spouses' pajamases. It's fostered patience and understanding, and we're all in this together. Lots of helpfulness, animal care, Dogs and cats uh, have been adopted. They're companions to people that live alone or elderly, and also a reason to get out every day. It may be the only way in some countries. Um, our appreciations for essential workers have gone from the immediate concern, nurses, doctors, and truck drivers to keep our uh, food stores stocked. But now we see that teachers, that also happened early when the schools closed, realize they're essential. And the barbers and the hairdressers and the baristas are all essential for all of us. And we are so much more grateful and we can go out and have a simple cup of coffee after weeks and weeks of lockdown. That is 
something to be grateful for. We also see that it's been easier to virtually connect with people and to have meaningful online relationships with think tanks, masterminds, etc. Um, this has been a time of innovation, inspiration and community and I really strongly believe we're going to have that going forward. So, not long ago, work from home was something that a lot of people wanted to do, but the employers wouldn't allow them. It would be a benefit or it would be a reward for work well done or something that was limited to management only. But now, I think we have great expectations on work that will bring us in the future because the proof is in the pudding. It worked just fine. Uh, more flexibility will be expected by employees. We have the digital nomads already. We have the millennials that want to do things. And why shouldn't you be able to see the beautiful sunset in Miami or go skating on an icy lake in Sweden in your bathing shorts? So what if there's actually a win-win situation here? What if the reduced expense of having offices for companies will allow them to support their workforce working from home or work remotely. They would have an enormous amount of uh, people to find talent if they didn't have to move. So why not be able to work from Norway and have this view? Or be in Sardinia driving this beautiful Fiat? Or going on a morning drive if you're interested in wildlife in Kenya? So the new normal actually needs some consideration. So there are many, many ways to slice this. Do you go all in, remote offices only? Is it a hybrid? Do you have a staggered approach? Do you have different days in the office? You know, what will happen? So there's a lot to think about. What is the local culture of the company? Is it the corporate culture? Is it the headquarters culture? Is it the country's culture? Or the origin of the country? what will happen. And that these are important things to think about and also how to create a team. We have here, this is a lot of HR today. They're sitting here, they're about to go all the way up and then have a free fall down. Um, you can see how uncomfortable they look and I would too. Um, because now we are with the HR support really needs to think about time zone, employer branding, that may now need to be more than the physical space you're in, the distractions people experience from home, not everyone signed up from working at home. Um, how can you help people set the scene to have a good working environment at home? Internet needs to be great. Um, you need help with self-leadership. Working from home is easy for people with self-leadership skills. Not everyone has them, they may need help. Motivation, what skills are needed, and the business etiquette. And I think we've all been to video conferences where somebody puts the camera up in the ceiling and clearly is doing the dishes. Um, so that needs to be in place so everybody is comfortable and there's no friction in these meetings. And how do you know if you can trust somebody if you've never actually met them? So. We have remote work legal, and that's where we will be now um, with liabilities, insurances, policies, um, things for, for staff to sign, how do we feel about the IT data security, and companies who haven't looked at this in detail really have to do that now. Uh, also, the health and well-being of your employees. This is the reason why we have a um, remote work health program. And on Mondays, we have health coach Pamela Wilson that takes us through a session of inspiration. This week was self-leadership with practical hacks so we could actually motivate ourselves without being in an office together. The HR support program, obviously HR need great data to monitor how people are feeling, to get dashboard, 
to know where is there a problem? Is it green over here, but it's red over here? What can what do we need to do? And is it relating to productivity or wellness, team spirit, and and then address these things. But you need the data to be there and also the feedback from your team. And to finish off to system immersion, this is we have complimentary resources. You can follow my LinkedIn profile. You can ask questions in the chat. And you can also sign up for a motivational mojo program. So it will save you hours in a day or the professional inspiration program. It's all complimentary. It's on our site and feel free to link with me. Thank you.